Hey people, welcome back. Been a little bit since I've posted a video. Had a few things going on. Yep. First up, my shell got a bit of damage. Doggies. I'll put it out the back after I did some touch-ups and yeah. Bit of a few battle scars there. I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit, but Oh well, I'm going to have to touch it up again. Touch his life. Now, back to the G-Speed chassis. You now this thing, I absolutely love it. Now, I've recently just installed this nifty little 3D printed battery tray. Right in there nicely. And that even fits in See, that's a 1500, 1500 milliamp battery, and that fits in there nicely. Now, get that out of the way, it makes it easier to see things. Now, where to start? I had one person ask for me just how I did with these mounts for the, bat for the magnets now, on the body. It's just double-sided tape, nice and easy. I found that works better than glue. Or the araldite, whatever, it all tended to frickin' break, come off. Now, these little mounts just here, these were actually the servo mounts for axles off a SCX-10. So, if you, even some plastic ones would do the job, but that's all they are. And I just made up, just cut out a bit of angle alloy, fault, hammered it out flat, and just drilled a couple of holes in the right, right place. Now, the chassis itself, absolutely awesome. I was very hesitant about drilling the holes to put this battery tray in, but I'm glad I did. Just got it off the skid here and brought the weight in a bit more obviously more central and further forward you now it's going to be my first test with that battery placement as well and i'm just using the i've got the proline big ball shocks i probably should have gone just some trx four ones and some Losi mini t springs which may be an option down the track. The links themselves, I got them from Club 5 Racing. They are awesome. Can't remember exactly how much they were, but they weren't too expensive, even with the Aussie dollar. The, you know, these are the RC four-wheel drive alloys. They are beautiful, nice and light. I'm running the G8 compound crawlers. Oop. I've still got the G8 compound um, matching foams in there. Thought I'd leave them in there, being it's got the extra weight with the heavier axles. Um, you know, I'm running the GT5. GT5. That seems to work great, especially compared to the GT3. You don't have any issues with the receiver mixing with other GT fives at all. Compared to the GT3, you could have half a dozen receivers and you could leave it on the same channel and it'll control them all. Now, overall, I cannot fault, sorry about that guys, cannot fault the quality of the G-Speed chassis and the craftsmanship, everything screws in beautifully. Um, most of my screws that I have, they're actually out of an old SCX-10 that I picked up nice and cheap, bloody half, just in parts and that, and I used all the screws and everything else out of that, along with other bits and pieces, which come in handy down the track. Surprise what you do end up using. Now, these KYX axles, 
they seem to be brilliant i haven't had any issues with anything coming unscrewed or anything i've just had to take back a little bit of material there it's just to clear the horn on the servo there as you can see I've got the hook there for the DSM that's a SEX102 DSM setup that fits in beautifully not too much messing around at all I bit the bullet and put some body posts on the front because I was sick of it just getting knocked off with a decent hit it's not going to come off anywhere now just, that makes it a lot easier to put it into bang they're located it drops on yeah, off and racing. I'm still, I've obviously got the Castle Mumba X Crawler Edition. I can't fault this thing other than the internal BEC. I did have some browning out issues running this, uh, this says 33, but I've checked them out and they're lucky to be 32 kilos worth, but it does the job. Um, I've got the external BEC here. Just a castle, that's running the 8.4, getting full voltage to the servo. Um, yeah, the GT52 also you can run, I think it's up to 12 volts through this receiver without it frying. Um, I'm running the Holmes Hobbies 1400 revolver V2. I love this little thing. I just wish this ESC didn't make quite as much noise with it, but such is life. Uh, what haven't I covered? It's transmission with a 30% overdrive. As you can see, I've got it directly screwed straight on. I'm not actually running a clutch, so my weak point is the spur gear. Other than that, yeah, I've got the steel shafts, steel axles. So literally the weak point in the drive line is just the spur gear. Uh, I think I've just about covered everything. If there's anything I haven't covered, please let me know. Alright, I'm gonna take it for a crawl. Alright, let's go. Oh, come on. Oh, beautiful. Like it was nothing at all. That's it. Oh, beautiful. Not much stops those things. And when I do get stuck, I get the DSM there. Oh, I've got to be careful I don't fall down these bloody rocks. That's it. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, very nice. So I want to see. Nice little control. <coughs> I think you've got more control on this rocks than I do. <laughs> now this is quite steep, this area that I'm on. It's going to be quite a challenge, come on, just to walk up in here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at the flooded river. Haven't long had a lot of rain come through here. Oh, 
Absolutely beautiful. Where else are we gonna go? A lot of people would have no idea what these big thorns are. These are called capheads. Three corner jacks or whatever you want to call Ow! And they really hurt when they when you step on them. You can see it's stuck into the tire without a problem. The Aussie bush has more to deal with than just snakes and spiders. So composed, up and down. Oh look, there's a lizard tail. <laughs> oh, eh? Come on. That's it. Come on. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, I'm caught on the area. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh, yeah, come on. Oh, beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, I honestly didn't think I was going to get up that far. Oh, that is just... Come on. You can do it. Get up there. Oh, no! Oh, we're over. Ah, oh, well. Let's try it again. I'm going to get up there. Come on. That's it. Oh, come on. Too many holes. <laughs> Turtle. Oh, I'm way to get up there. One thing that really helps cut down on weight, and that is the DSM. Oop. Get a piece of rock that's not pulling out. Oh, be harder than. Or falling apart. Let's try that. What's the beauty of the DSM? See if it's not the Come on. That's it. Ah, hey. Come on. Beautiful. 
Well, the combo with everything that I've got, I'm quite happy with this build. At the end of the day, yeah, may end up tuning the shocks a bit more, thicker fluid, might go stickier tyres. I do have high rocks sitting at home, but at the end of the day, I am really happy with this. I think ultimately I'll end up getting a cliffhanger body to go on it as well. This can be my beta shell. It's already got <laughs> plenty of marks on it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you. Well, please like and share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.